What is going on everybody? Welcome here today to another NBA 2K18 2019 rebuild team I haven't done in a while. We are doing the Portland Trailblazers today. So in the last video, there was a couple audio issues there. I had to take the video down and re-upload it. So I'm super sorry if anything was that was an inconvenience. I really don't know what happened. I thought it was perfectly fine when I was uploading it. Once I uploaded it, I got like 50 comments saying that audio is messed up and I'm like panicking. I'm like, what, what, what does that mean? I watched the video and it was bad. So I had to go down, I had to change, uh, take the video down, edit it again, make a new audio file. Uh, it is pretty frustrating, pretty frustrating when stuff like happens, but that's just like the bad things that happen as a YouTuber. It's just stuff you got to scrap sometimes, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I think the video ended up just being fine. It was just uploaded a little later and I doubt people watched it again. So, um, I mean, it's okay. So, uh, here we are today with the Trailblazers rebuild. Now, this isn't a realistic rebuild, so I can trade who the hell I want. Nurkic, I like this contract for him. 12 million years, really good. But in real life, or in this game, before he ever got this contract and he would go into free agency, he would ask for 26 mil. So 2K, just take that into consideration, please, for next year. I just hope we can uh, fix all this next year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Alfred Camino to small forward. I'm really tempted to sending Zach Collins to the G League. I don't know why he's a center in this. He should be a power forward. I think we are going to send him to the G League. And... Um, and Free Simmons also going to send to the G League. So, what I'm thinking of is Damian Lord. Obviously, I plan on keeping him throughout this video. Nurkic has a really good contract. So, I don't know if I'll be moving him anytime soon. But McCollum is somebody who's going to be making $29 million in four years. And he's an 85 overall at the already age of 27. Not the best defender. He's 6'3". He might be on the way out from this team. I'm not entirely sure yet, though, what I want to do. So let me just see what this team's gonna be. So it's Willard, McCollum, Alfred Camino, Caleb Swanigan. All right, cool with me. I'm actually open to doing this. Um, so Swanigan, you can get like 15 a game. And then let's get Parkless 29. Um, let's go 37 here, 36 here, and then we'll go 33. All right, so that's gonna be for me. Season number one, could be a wash, could not be. I mean, I don't know what's really gonna happen. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. I'm okay with not making the playoffs. All right, so we just ended the regular season. We go 41 and 41, about what I was expecting for this team to be around 500 for the season. I don't know if we made the playoffs. I know we were fighting for an eight seed. You guys might've caught a glimpse of it before I started talking, but Damian Lode, all NBA 13. Uh, his contract does go up uh, pretty significantly over the next five years. 25 points, four rebounds, very good stuff from him. Six assists, 53% from the field, 43% from three. Very nice. And uh, we're not going to have anybody else. So we actually didn't make the playoffs. We were the ninth seed. Um, we were three games out of the OKC Thunder making it. And yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't know. They traded Steven Adams because he's clearly not hurt because they never play with injuries on. Who did they trade for Will Barton? One, first of all, why would the Nuggets do that? I mean, like, they already have Jokic, unless they're moving Jokic to power forward. They traded Roberson for Robert, uh, for Marvin Williams. Otto Porter was traded for Blake. I feel like that always happens now. Yeah, Will Barton, Mason Plumlee for Steven Adams, Jesus. So, uh, if we take a look at the stats, McCollum and Lillard both really good. Nurkic, not bad. Surprisingly good year out of Alfred Camino. Eh, not surprisingly, like his per 36 numbers are really good. He was asking for like 12 mil in free agency. I'm probably not going to give that to him, but um, I hope he gets on the open market. We were one of the worst defensive teams, fourth worst defensive team. And I think it said we were like the seventh best offensive team in the week. I'm very excited to see. Well, Portland, the one thing about Portland is they're not underrated anymore. Damian Lord is not underrated. We've been saying he's been underrated for the past three, four seasons now. They're not underrated anymore. We know what they can do. They're a middle tier Western Conference team, middle to end tier who are never going to make it to the conference finals. They, they will never make it to the conference finals with the current roster they have now, which has been the same roster they've had for quite some recent time. So I don't think they're underrated. I think Dimwin Lillard is the sixth. If you want to say he's the fifth best point guard, I think that's the peak where you can put him at. You can't crack him in the top four over Kyrie, Paul, Westbrook, and Curry. And yeah, I think it's at that. I don't think he's underrated anymore. Uh, it's just like once so many people say it's underrated, it's not underrated anymore because clearly he's rated enough if everybody's talking about him. So, um, yeah, that was just my little thing on Portland. Portland, I feel like, aren't going to make the playoffs next year. I still think, I mean, they still can. Obviously, they're still incredibly talented with the, one of the best backcourts in the league. And mm, that's, that's pretty much what they got going for them. But it's going to take a lot for them to make it to the to the Western, Co uh, to the Western Conference playoffs. Like, Lillard's going to have to be playing like an MVP type player again this year. And, yeah, that's the only way I think they make it. Because you got teams like... 
obviously you have the teams that are definitely making it in like OKC, Houston, LA, Golden State. I would say San Antonio, Utah, Denver, Minnesota, Portland, Memphis. That's 10 teams. New Orleans, New Orleans, that's 11 teams that are good enough to make the playoffs. 11 teams. I would say the only four that aren't going to make it probably are LA, Dallas, Sacramento, and Phoenix. That's what I would say the only four. Every other team has a chance to make it into the Washington Conference playoffs. So it's going to be very tough for them to make it. So we end up with the 14th pick in the lottery. Uh, Terry Stotts, I'll keep you around for one more year. We are going to fire our assistant coach. I met our trainer. We're going to hire assistant coach. Let's get Frank Vogel. Why not? Surprise, he's an assistant coach. We are going to fire Brandon Smith, but we are going to uh, hire Abraham Navarro. And we signed both of these guys. Mulling and accepted. Okay. So let's go to the NBA draft now. Which I have a lot of players that I can definitely move up. Um, the good thing about this not being a realistic rebuild is I can move Evan Turner's contract in the 14th pick to maybe move up in the draft. We'll just see. I'm going to have to do a couple of these trades off camera because they might take a minute to complete. Like, there's some nice trades here, but clear, or like I said before, I'm trying to move up. So if I were to trade Evan Turner and the 14th pick, what team has a top 10 pick with cap space? Like, Clippers, I just got the ninth pick. Now, can we trade 9, 14, and who else do we have that I want to move? Like, Myers Leonard. Um, I don't know what team would have a high pick here. Detroit, but they have cap. Okay. So, we're going to try to move up to 5. And I'm willing to give you Mo Harkless, which you're not going to be able to afford. So, I will give you uh, Caleb Swanigan. And I'll give you another second. Yep. Okay. So, we just picked up pick 4 now. So, we have pick four in the draft. I don't think I'm going to move up anymore. But I do want to trade Mo Harkless and um, before the draft. So, I'm going to trade Mo Harkless for just, yeah, a first round pick from Milwaukee. And I'll see you guys with who I take at pick four. Uh, it's either going to be a small forward or a big man. No guard. So, the Hornets take Simi Shitu with the number one overall pick. Moses Brown goes two. Romeo Langford goes three. So, I had a choice between, like, RJ Barrett, Williamson, Reddish, Bowl Ball. It's like Zion Williamson. Why not with the fourth overall pick? And he's going to probably be our starting small forward next year. Not bringing back Jake Lehman. Now, uh, Nick Stauskas, you are not getting my qualifying offer. I'm tempted here now. I don't know what I want to do with CJ McCollum. I will maybe just look at offers for him. I mean, maybe we still can win it with him at our starting shooting guard. I mean, it's definitely possible. But there is a way that I could have done this trade, hypothetically, or just this trade for Brogdon, clear up. 24 million if i move henson and i could go after somebody in free agency so maybe that is the move like maybe that's actually the smart decision to do um it all depends on who's here and who has zero offers so cousins has zero offers butler and thompson all have zero offers and i actually can maybe sign one of them okay who's a free agent for us that i would like to bring back nobody like nobody with their cap hold am i bringing back so i'm gonna actually move somebody right now um do, do I want it to be Seth Curry? I mean, I do like Seth Curry coming off the bench. Okay, let me just see. So we have 1, 2, because I'm cool with Simmons playing next year. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think it's got to be Seth Curry. I think we could definitely sign like uh, Wayne Ellington for the minimum. Because if I move Seth Curry, I can maybe sign DeMarcus Cousins. Or I can maybe sign a Jimmy Butler or a Clay Thompson. Um, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to trade Seth Curry for just a first-all pick. Or something in that realm. Uh, just something cheap. Obviously, I think this is good with the Knicks. So, we just trade him for a top three protected pick. And um, we're going to sign, hopefully, DeMarcus Cousins. Kevin Durant has six offers. Yeah, he's going back to the Warriors. Towns, obviously, going back there. Oh, no, I can't sign Cousins. Shoot. Okay. I would have to clear up four more mil to get DeMarcus Cousins. And in that way, I'm either going to have to trade Nurkic or I'm going to have to trade. How tall is Nurkic? Seven foot. Or I'm going to have to trade McCollum. I'll look at Nurkic deals. Um, if there is some type of way I can move Nurkic for Miles Turner, I will do that. Um, I don't know if that's possible. Probably not. Um, I'm interested to see how much money. Yeah, if I could somehow pull this trade off. We're going to honestly, we got this Bucks first round pick for, I forgot who, Myers Leonard. Will this help it work? Okay, what about this Knicks pick I just got from Seth Curry? And I'll throw in our pick next year. I'm pretty confident we'll be good. So Knicks pick, our pick next year. Actually, could we do the Bucks pick in our pick next year? Okay, so instead we're going to do this pick, our pick next year. Uh, not the second one. 
for Miles Turner. And then I can move Miles Turner to power forward. And then we can... Ooh, he was terrible last year. And then we can hopefully sign Cousins. So, they agree to that. Let's go. And that should leave me with more than enough money to sign DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So, I'm going to give him 35 mil. Four years. Front load that. Player option. He should sign with us. Say he doesn't sign. And we lose out on somebody. I'm going to sign like Jimmy Butler. But I really want Cousins. And we got Cousins. So, I'm going to renounce the rights on all these guys. We're going to sign DeMarcus Cousins. I'm really shocked we had enough cap space to offer a max deal this offseason. And I think we're set with next year because it's going to be Lillard, McCollum, Williamson, Turner, and then Cousins. So I'm going to move Turner to power forward. Um, and we got Cousins playing at center. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would like to get a backup center and a backup shooting guard. So backup shooting guard. Is Wayne Ellington still here? Yes, he is. Um... Ooh, I have two mil to give him. So we're going to give him that. And then a center on maybe the mid level exception. Like a Marcin Gortat. Why not? So um, they're both mulling. We actually have a $5.37 million option I could have used. Ugh. Uh, so we're going to use part of that on Ellington. I still have three mil left. Greg Monroe or Gortat. We'll just roll with Gortat. So I'll see you guys at uh, training camps. Okay, so training camps. Onset potential is 100% going to Williamson. I'm also going to send it to Miles Turner. And then I'm going to send perimeter defense to CJ McCollum. Yeah, his defensive readings are not good in this game. I don't know. Maybe next year we might have to package a first round pick. I'm going to call him for like a Victor Oladipo. That could be big. It all depends on what we do this season. So Ellington is going to be our six man. I'm so open to that. Quinn Cook, you are not playing. Neither are you, Trevor Booker. So let's get Simmons and Collins in here. Um, Simmons, you're going to get like 12 minutes a night. Collins, 16, I would say. Uh, you can get 17. We're going to go 16 to Gortat. Uh, Ellington, 24. Cousins, 35. Turner, 32. What do you get last year? Um, yeah, I would say 32, 33 is good with you. We'll go 32 to Williamson, 33. Uh, we're going to go 37 and then 34 here. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I'm excited to see what McCall Mode and Cousins can do. And yeah, adding Williamson and Turner should also help. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Okay, guys, so Steph Curry wins MVP. Zion Williamson, rookie of the year. That's what I'm talking about. 16 and a half points, 8.8 rebounds. Colin Sexton, six men of the year. Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. Jordan Bell, most improved. And Nick Nurse, coach of the year. And did we get, um, we went 41 and 41 again. So clearly this team didn't improve, which uh, obviously we did improve. It's just kind of, I'm going to probably try to make a trade for him. I don't know how easy it's going to be, but it's got a package McCollum, picks, maybe Anthony Simmons as a young piece. And yeah, so we'll see what we want to do there. Darren Jackson Jr. already a beast. Got to get on that uh, Grizzlies rebuild team. So, Williamson, Arky, first team. We actually made the playoffs this year uh, as the eighth seed. We are taking on the Nuggets in round one. I definitely could see an upset. I definitely could see an upset. Well, his points went down. So, did McCollum's. But, obviously, when you had Cousins, they got Williamson, Turner, Ellington, Simmons, Collins, Gortat, etc. Points per game, we were fifth. Allowed, we were still one of the worst. And our point differential, we were 13th. Okay. So... Round one, I do think we could beat them. They do beat us in game one by 22. Okay, maybe maybe we can't beat them. Game two, um, we lost. Game three, we win. Okay, we finally win one by six. Williamson drops 29. Lower drops 24. Lower, do you want to do a little bit better here in the playoffs? All right, we're down three to one. Okay, I guess, I don't know why. Williamson's killing it, but... Um, game five... We lost in five. Damn, we just... This season was trash. I thought it was going to be so much better than this. Uh, the Suns swept the Warriors and then get swept by the Raptors. All right, so we are going to have... Oh, we traded our pick to the Pacers for Miles Turner. Okay. Uh, the 17th pick is theirs. So that's a pick. Okay, I'm going to fire or let... Um, do I want Casey or Rick Carlisle? I feel like I always do bad with Rick Carlisle. So I'm going to hire Dwayne Casey. But yeah, Terry Stotts is done after this season. That was just... It was not good at all. 41 and 41. And we had to Turner, Cousins, and Williamson. And then we lose in five to in the first rounds of the Nuggets. So... I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till after the draft to do this. So, we have one second round pick. I do not plan on trading up. So, after I accept the team option on Simmons, um, I'm going to be trading him. Maybe Garrett Tread Jr. too. I would like to keep Collins. But let's see here. So, if I went to propose trade, we threw up CJ McCollum. We threw up Anfrey Simmons. It's actually really good right now. Okay, but Anfrey Simmons. And then we went to Indiana. And we threw up Victor Oladipo. First, let me just try this because they're the same amount of stars. They want Wayne Ellington and... Okay. And they're going to give me Nurkic back. 
That's a dumb deal. What the hell are they smoking? Okay, so, yeah, we just picked up, um, ooh, I should have thought about bringing Quinn. No, I didn't even trade Simmons. We just picked up Oladipo. Uh, that was for me, like, 20 minutes ago, because I had some problems with my computer. Just not the best week for me, YouTube-wise. So, Draymond, gonna go back to the Warriors. Ingram, gonna max deal from the Hawks and the Cavs. That looks like they're a lot of money for both teams. But, Lakers are probably gonna match Hartford. Gonna go back to the Celtics. I have no money to give you. Um, Turner's restricted. Anybody else that we have that's a free agent? No. And I I do think we might have a little bit of money to spend. Uh, yeah, nine million on a mid-level exception. Dwight Howard. Let me see what uh, Darren Collison I saw. Like, I don't mind moving Simmons to shooting. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could go for a backup shooting guard or a backup power forward. But Collison is pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to, I think, sign Darren Collison. Um, for seven mil or six mil and then I can use the remaining three mil on a backup power forward So I'm gonna do that and if I were to get a backup power forward Zach Randolph would honestly be very nice to get so I'm gonna offer Zach Randolph two and a half mil for a year And if he decides to not take that I'll offer Jim Michael Green the minimum So we'll see which one we get we get Kyle and we get Randolph adding two veterans We are not renouncing the right on him on uh, Turner, but we will uh, do it on everybody else. I'm going to decline the Jermichael Green deal. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at trading camps. We added Carlson, we added Randolph, and then I'm going to obviously match Turner or pay Turner a lot of money. So, I ended up just being impatient. I paid Miles Turner money, didn't feel like simulating 18 days. So, I'm going to send Williamson on top potential. Uh, we are going to send big man defense to Miles Turner, and then we are going to send. Mm, I think still perimeter D to maybe Lillard, I feel like could be a smart idea because his defensive ratings aren't too good. But I think Eddie Oladipo has to make us really good. We're basically the Pacers. We still, oh my God, and we have Nurkic. Yeah, we basically got Oladipo and Miles Turner for like three first round picks and Wayne Ellington. Basically, that's what we got for them. And, they, and two of those picks weren't even ours. It was the Bucks and Knicks pick we got from Seth Curry and Myers Leonard. So basically, we traded Seth Curry... Myers Leonard and Seth Curry, Myers Leonard, and one of our first round picks, and Wade Ellington. So those four: Seth Curry, Myers Leonard, one of our first round picks, and Wade Ellington. And we got uh, Miles Turner, we got Victor Oladipo, and then we basically got Nurkic back. So we just robbed the Pacers in this video. So I'm gonna go 25 here. We're gonna go. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go 15 here. 15 here. Bump this up to 18. Okay, 31. 33 oh, um okay you're gonna get 35 and then we're gonna go 33 to these guys 34 and then we'll go one more to oladipo so um i don't think there's anybody i do want to send to the g league but i do want to move simmons to a shooting guard um or do i want to move collison yeah we'll move simmons um i don't think there's anybody that i do want to send to the g league i mean we could send gary trent sure there why not so that'll be for me now i'll see you guys at the end of the season we better win a playoff series this year and have a positive record. All right, guys, so Kevin Durant wins MVP. Sekou Dumi of Rookie of the Year, Mark Fault, Six Man of the Year, Joel Embiid, Defensive Player of the Year, Brandon Ingram. Wow, the Lakers didn't match his deal. And the dude almost averages 20 points a game. Finally, 2K. I'd like to see that. And we get Coach of the Year, Dwayne Casey. Yeah, we go 62 and 20. We had 21 more wins last than last year. Adding Old Debo, I guess, was some pretty big improvements um we do get lowered on all base second team so i like to see that no uh, cousins but it's okay do we get anybody in an all defensive team we do not and we're not gonna have any rookies so we are the one seed we are taking on the eight seeded spurs with the rosen murray jared vanderbilt james wiseman okay it's kind of scary la 12 is coming off the bench now jamie lamb there's Lonnie walker uh if we check out the player stats here they are uh, five player or four players above 16 points a game, which is very nice. Not really the best scoring off the bench. You can kind of see nine, seven, six, four. Nothing special, but you know what? The bench is still solid. We were the best scoring team in the league, so I guess I'll take that actually. And we just went from being one of the top 10 worst defensive teams to being the seventh best defensive team in the league this year, and we had a 10.4 point differential. So, round one against San Antonio, we pick up the L by two points. Um, okay, that's kind of scary. Game two. Don't make me rage, please. I'm not, like, in the mood for this right now. Swept! How do we get swept when we are 62 and 20? Mm, my God, I'm so mad. So, I don't think I'm going to do anything in this offseason. Like, I, I guess I should keep the team the same, and it was just maybe unlucky. Maybe we just needed Williams to develop... We have the 29th pick. I don't plan on using it. Dwayne Casey, you go from coach of the year to getting swept in round one. 
You bum, dude. Come on, man. Come on. All right, so rookie signings. Like, I trust you, KC. You better, you know what? I'm going to forget the season even happened. Oh, my God. Some of these players are crap. Williamson Simmons. Okay, going to bring back all these guys. Um, qualifying offers Derek Jones Jr. I don't give a crap about. So, do we have any free agents of our own? Um, we do. Oladipo is the one. All right. Uh, clearly, I'm going to pay Oladipo a lot of money right now. Uh, who's in this free agency class? Giannis. Mitchell's restricted. Um... Paul George, Old Depot, Porter, some cool guys. So we're going to sign Old Depot, and that's going to be it. I'm not going to do anything with my mid-level exception, and it's going to be the same rotation as last year. Maybe the minutes might be slightly differently or a little bit different, but, yeah, I'm nothing to really show you guys. So I'll see you guys at the end of the fourth and final season, and it better be a championship season. All right, guys, so we go 68-14 and 14 this year. 68-14. and 14. Like, Coach of the Year, once again, what is that? Six more games better than last year. Luka Doncic, All-NBA first team. Oh, my God, dude's a beast. Um... All NBA second team, Monzo, Westbrook, Porzingis, Markin, and Embiid. Curry, Wall, James, Porter. Okay, so no Trailblazers um, on the all NBA teams. That's okay. As I don't care what we do here as long as we just do well in the playoffs. Miles Turner, all David's second team. Dude average 13, 7.3. Oh my god, okay. Three assists. Dude's an 89 overall. Very nice. Once again, we are the one seed. Come on, give me San Antonio in my one. Oh, we get Phoenix. Phoenix is pretty good in this too. Uh, okay, okay. This is going to get very interesting. Stats wise, here they are. Once again. Three players over 18. Cousins is so trash, man. What the hell? For Look at that. He's getting paid 31 mil. Oh, his contract wasn't that big. Oh, because I front-loaded it. But yeah, that uh, here is everything. And then if we go to team stats, points per game. Number one, allowed points per game. Number six. And then number one, a point differential. All right, so I'm confident. Final season, we lost game one of the playoffs once again. If we go down 2-0, I don't know what to do. Okay, we win this one uh, by nine. All right. Uh, lower drop 23 game. Uh, what is this? Three now we win. Let's go by three. I'm just so nervous right now. Like my heart is kind of shake uh, beating really fast. Uh, three one. Okay, let's go. We won by six. Cousin drops 32. Good stuff. And game five. We lost game six. We went. All right. So we got Golden State in the second round. Uh, they kept their core together besides Cousins. So yeah, their OG core from the first super team they made. Um, all right. So let's see how the series go. Game one. They beat us by three points. Okay. It's only three. Come on. Uh, game two. We win. Let's go. We blow them out by 23, so we showed that we could beat them. Every player that played had over double-digit points or double-digit or higher. Oh, my God. Had 10 or higher. That's what I just love to see, man. That's what I love to see. We're up 2-1. to one. Blow them out here in game three. Old Depot 26. Williamson double-double. Cousins double-double. Lower double-double. Let's go. Come on. Let's go up 3-1. Damn it. They tied. That would have been a huge game to win. Game five. We're up 3-2. to two. Let's go. Come on, let me win this. Don't go to a game seven. Of course, we're going to a game seven. They beat us by 11. All right, it's in Portland, in Oregon. Come on, come on. Good first quarter. Good second quarter. All right, we're winning this. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We won by 29, lower to 29, and we're moving on to take on the Nuggets who beat us back three years ago. Um, when we were the AT, they were the one seed. Game one, we do beat them by 16. Game two, we win. Okay, this is our first time being up 2-0 in the playoffs. We're, um, we're up 3-0, and game four, we lost, and we went in five. All right, so we're taking on, oh, I would have liked to take on Atlanta, but Milwaukee, have they added anybody new? Montrose Harold, DeJuan Wright, Don Maker, Quinn Cook, hey, he was on our team for like a year, but he didn't play. It was the 20, I feel like he was on our team. Oh, yeah, 2018-2019, got one minute, or one point, uh, basically throughout the year. DJ Wilson, Richardson, Bledsoe, okay. Um, game one, they are a six seed, so I think we should be good. We're up 2-0. We're up 3-0. Let's go, baby. And can we go for the sweep on the road? And it looks like we will, so I will see you guys in the game. We're about to win the NBA Finals. Very nice. All right, guys, so we're in the game. Bloodsoe's probably about to knock down a three. Damian Lord, 32 points, 10 assists in the clinching game four victory. Uh, Gary Trent is in right now, but this team is honestly insane. When I go check the roster at the end of this, there's a chance we could have had five 90s. Like, Williamson could maybe get up there. Dude had four, 16 points and 13 rebounds for a small forward. Incredible. Like, we know Lillard's a 90. I think Oladipo was an 89. Same with Turner. Cousins obviously is a 90. So, there's a chance we could have had, like, four 90s or everybody could have been an 88 or higher, 89 or higher, which, you know, your team is pretty good when that happens. So... I think we might have a chance for that. I am not sure. So Damian Lord off the screen. Come on, let's get something good. Oh, he's open for one second. No, he does not make that. Collins cannot fight for the board at all. And yeah, we are uh, 
up by 32, 34. Holy crap, that's a lot of points. Um, and he misses that. Okay, Willard with the outlet. Can I get a Gary Trent? Okay, they're gonna foul. Um, oh, we're in the bonus, really? So, finals MVPs, Damian Lord, 20 points, 11.8 assists, 3 rebounds. Incredible stuff we do win a championship in year number 4. Uh, Williamson was only 96, but you know, at one point, look at those numbers. Dude's about to be a 90 any year, um, coming up. And then Turner, 89, 26 years old. And then there's Oladipo, Cousins, Willard. We also had Nurkic, Collins, Simmons, and Gary Trent Jr. Because Collison did regress at the start of the year. He was like a 76, 75. That's why I chose Trent over him. So yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry about that whole miss up on the Nuggets rebuild yesterday. Uh, I'm hoping it won't happen ever again. So yeah, that'll be for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.